morning. Today on the bus build, we're gonna be working on installing the security cameras and the backup camera. We're gonna go ahead and install the two side security cameras first and then the backup camera second. The two side cameras that we went with are, I'll put a picture and um, I'll link it in my description. They are weatherproof and easy to install. The only differences that I've seen between these ones and like the ones that other people have used um, is these ones are plug-in. So instead of like hardwiring them into the system, they just plug into an outlet. So that way whenever we don't want them to be on or using the energy, we can just unplug them easily. We went with two side cameras um, so that way we can use them as security purposes or when we're driving down the highway and we want to be able to see on each side of the bus better than what the mirrors provide. We'll be able to view it live um, with We'll be able to view both of them live while we're driving and it'll just make everything easier. So this is what they look like. They do connect wi by Wi-Fi. Um, we will be having Wi-Fi in the bus so that shouldn't be a problem. And we plan on putting them like up here and up there, obviously on the outside. And we just have to drill a few small holes and then cock around like the bottom so that way water doesn't leak in. But other than that, it should be pretty simple. Hopefully we just don't screw anything up. So yeah, let's um, install some of the cameras. So to start off on how we installed the side security cameras, all we had to do was drill a hole for the main cord to fit through. And then once we had that drilled, we placed the camera where we wanted it to be and then we screwed in three screws that it calls for. We did not end up using the original screws it came with, but we did use um, metal screws so it attached to the bus. And then for the other side, we just repeated the same process and it was super simple to do. And then we cocked around the outside edge of the camera to make sure that no leaks or anything got in. Um, but yeah, the side security cameras were super easy to install and I will link them in my description. And then moving on to the backup camera, which was also very easy to install. All we did was drill a hole for the cord to fit through, and then I believe it only called for two screws. So we used the same metal screws that we did for the side security cameras for the back camera, and then we caulked around those holes as well. The cord that the backup camera comes with is super long. I think it's 45 foot, so we had a lot of extra slack. Um, which we ended up just zip tying to the framing boards on the ceiling so it was hidden behind everything. But yeah, so the cord it comes with, if you have a 45 foot bus, um, it will still reach all the way from the back to the front. So I highly recommend this backup camera as well. We saw Seems so strong until it falls The fire before we insulate and put up the plywood. Um, let me kind of show you kind of what we got going on right now. So we, run, we went around and cut out like little tiny holes um, on the frame so that way the wires fit through it and the insulation is gonna go behind the wires. Um, and then we are reusing 
um, this wire protector um, to go through that. Um, so just to make sure it's extra secure. And um, yeah. So we have our electrical bank um, right here where all the electrical is gonna go. We have everything taped off on the ends to know what leads to what. And then our wires just run through here and up through here. And then we're gonna have some outlets over there for the security cameras. Um, we're gonna have like three outlets in the living room. And then, yeah, the one, the yellow wire is for the outlets and um, the fridge and the water heater. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. It's a little bit of a mess, but we kind of know what we're doing. Hello, it is me from the future. Or, you know, we have the bus done. Well, done enough. And I have finally found the time to go back and go through all of the footage and put it and piece it together in videos as best as I can. Um, with editing this video, I either A, didn't film as much of the wiring as I thought I did or hoped I did, or B, the footage is on an SD card that I lost. Cause I did lose a few SD cards during the move and like getting all of our stuff in the bus and traveling. So I am doing my best to piece together um, the videos on the rest of the build. So if you have any questions or anything, uh, just let me know and I will do my best to answer. But as for now, I think that's all I have for you today. We ended up putting eight outlets in the bus and then also wired in our little water heater that we have. We have two outlets up front that we use for the security cameras. We have three outlets in the living room here and then we have three outlets in the bedroom. So eight outlets total and then we also wired in the water pump or not water pump the water heater all with the yellow 122 wire and um, if I find any videos or if I come across any videos of us wiring in the outlets because some of them you had like one wire and those were always easy and then some of the outlets most of the outlets I believe they're called pigtail wiring because you have two yellow wires and they run in and then you gotta wire them on the side of the outlets. So if I find those videos, I will definitely put it in the next video, which I'm not sure what will be yet. Possibly electrical and like solar and stuff, or I don't know, um, I guess we will see. So thank you guys for watching and that's all I have for you today. So I will see you in the next video.